Uh, Scorch. Yeah, Scorch. Colin loves this guy, Scorch. Well, uh, just a little back funny. history really fast. Ant and I, back in the day when we were working in Worcester, we worked at the same radio station as Scorch. Scorch. There, there was something about him. We just yeah. we, we loved the guy from the first day we met him. And he would he would come in with a boom box, and he would set up his <laughs> kingdom of nakedness. <laughs> It was Even like though he didn't get right. naked or anything, but it, he he had the illusion that he did naked radio and naked right. radio. He just had this whole, yeah. Everything was like radio. It was like a weird like you know what I mean. Like, yeah, he, he just yeah. he just had a way about him, man. He was really really into his kingdom of nakedness, totally nude radio, totally nude naked yeah. militia. And then uh, poor Sam started interning with us, young Sam. Yeah, really wanted to get into radio, and then we found out that he was uh, going to Syracuse University, right, Syracuse. And I go, wow, we got an old friend that does radio up there. His name's Scorch. So we uh, we basically forced uh, young Sam onto Scorch, that right? That's great. Yeah. Yes. He's and, never been the same, Sam. And then Sam did like his uh, internship up there while he was at school, and then uh, a gig opened up here, and here's young Sam does, for the show. Does Colin know about Scorch's color of the day? Oh, the new color, color and of number day? of the day. I think I don't. Remember. This was where uh, uh, where uh, Scorch would just. Give out the color of the day. It'd be like, yeah, all right, uh, the color and the number. Like, all right, today we're looking at uh, brown uh, 17. Oh. Just, <laughs> but there would be nothing else to it. But it's like a unifying theme for the Scorch listeners. Yeah, yeah, because then they would know, and, and he said people would look forward to the next day to see what the color that was. That part I can't believe. But, <laughs> who could? And, and you're sitting there waiting for the sarcasm or something, oh, and, oh, and it never none. happens. No. We got the actual bit. It, it's 20 seconds. We got to do this for you. Yeah. <laughs> get up, 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 get up. I'm going to guess blue 43. All right. Today the uh, color is what they say here, working man's brown. Oh. It must be working man's brown. The number is five. So it is working man brown and five. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> what does it even mean? He brings up some good points. Like I was thinking about all these crazy cooking shows. You know, they're just too many cooking shows. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sick of them. You know, know the brothers in Philly have a brilliant thing they do. I saw on the show with color of the day. They'll have a color of the day, <laughs> mm -hmm. and they all guys in the neighborhood all wear the same color shirt and pant, like white shirt and jeans. This way, there's a problem with the cops looking for a young male in a blue shirt and jeans. Oh. 150 guys. With Is blue that real? Shirt. Oh, yeah. I saw it on a police show. And I thought, how brilliant. Very interesting. Is that? So Are sorry. the ONA pests listening? Mmm. To all the ONA pests. What's tomorrow's color? It's a pretty good idea. Let's make them uh, like, have to wear a really awful color, like pink. Fuchsia. <laughs> right. Periwinkle. Periwinkle and pink. Periwinkle. All ONA pests have to wear pink. Periwinkle oh, and pink no. tomorrow. <laughs> You're gonna get sued by Scorch. <laughs> yeah. You're ripping me off. Hoo hoo. I bet you like there's <laughs> I bet you there's, there's a lot of people in the Syracuse area playing playing the Scorch numbers now. Yeah. They probably, have, right. like, they're probably betting in, in back yeah. alleys and back rooms and stuff waiting for uh, the color and the number. Yeah, but now if he's gonna say five, he's gonna name a call and yeah. number. Alright, here we go. So we got brand new Scorch stuff. It's uh Scorch's top names for food network shows. Really? Ooh. Yeah. There are a lot of those shows. I'd love to see some well. I think these are the top rejected shows, by the way. If Sam's correct when I was talking to Sam before. Mm. Mm -hmm. Shows that couldn't make it because... Well, yeah, a little too be racy. Yeah. Reason will be obvious. Here's the, here's the great uh, Scorch. We're going to talk about shows that I came up with for the Food Network. Mm -hmm. uh, some of these shows, uh, I don't think they would like to have. Some of them, I think, really have a chance to make it. Uh -oh. Tell me what you think. For instance, uh, the <laughs> Chef Lollipop show you know i mean the chef lollipop making show and it's called mm, that is a great cook sucker you know Whoa. that might you not to say that? wait wait that might not what's what's a cook i don't well, a lollipop you suck on it yeah but a <laughs> cook a sucker show. i don't get the it cook made the sucker the cook made it yeah it's like a but wouldn't that be a cook's sucker yes or a, a cook they'd probably call it a cook's lollipop Right. No one calls a lot yeah, of a sucker. sucker. Don't be jealous. Usually, when the guys wouldn't have the guts to do that to What's next? <laughs> What's next? What's next? What's next? Show. And it's called, hmm, that is a great cook sucker. <laughs> you know, that might not really have time to make it. That might not no, be the I easiest agree with one him. to get through the censors. The cook sucker. One, nope. You know? Don't go there. The cook sucker. <sighs> you really, I, he, I, he knows I don't how get to, it. He knows how to sell it, though. I like yeah. that one. Huh? I like that one. You like that one? Yeah. How about this? Uh, I was going to have a show based on soups, but the soups weren't made from meat. Mm. They were made from, you know, Vegetarian. the muscles and the tendons and the bones, and the show Ooh. was going to be called, I Want to Bone You. Oh. I Wait a minute. <laughs> I Want to 
bone you with the bones. There's bones in the soup. It's not meat, but bones. <laughs> oh Just God. bones in the soup. <laughs> yeah. And and the funniest part of the whole thing is you guys making poor Sam go up an intern for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a nightmare. Why is soup involved with boning you? Why yeah, it just be I'll take the meat off and serve bones. What? Where does the whole be? thing is horrendous? But I want to know why you're picking that me. part. Yeah, yeah. How about we start with the concept? <laughs> like the expression "soup to bones." Like you, know? you, basically, you're saying I accept the concept of the bit, but so now we gotta nuts, like pick it apart. Right, right. But he's right though about uh, about cook sucker. Like that would never go. He is actually yeah. a legitimate point. Oh, well, is that what he's doing? Proving a point. You know what? Some of the shows I would be surprised if it did go these days. Guys, calling you know. You want the bachelor? Stephen S. from Bayshore writes. Uh, you guys should have the uh, hmm, uh, the. Uh, I'll be like, this is problematic. Oh. Uh -uh. Well, we should have the colored of the day. Oh, I got you. But then he said we should have done that during Black History Month. That's uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore with that witty line. Mm -hmm. Oh, you. Come on, how can you beat I want to bone you, you know? Oh, you God. Can, and this one really could have the chance to make it. This one is a barbecue show where the girls are just wearing bikinis and thongs and next to nothing. And the show is called Grills Gone Wild. Come on. <laughs> that is a winner right That's there. That's a good one. <laughs> Come on. That is a winner right there. This is crazy. Scorch knows what he's got in front of him. <laughs> yeah. He does he? Yes, yeah. exactly. You know a what he big has? steaming pile of Nagel. Oh, I was going to go radio Nagel. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't what even he look up and laugh. Hey, Iraq. Iraq. Iraq is texting. Iraq. He hates can we, can, 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 let's ask him on air. I want to yeah. know what this bit's about. He I does like, not like this what, bit at all. What is this bit, Iraq? Oh, I didn't hear it. Well, aren't, oh. aren't you part, part paying attention to the Aren't you above yeah. the fray? He's not even paying attention. He didn't want to hear. How do we expect the listeners to pay attention if the guy seven feet to my left isn't paying attention? Iraq, what about that? I don't know. It's not my bit. Ask uh, Sam what that bit's about. Whoa. Sam, oh. comment. You know, it's a throw. It was a throwaway line at the time that I regret because I feel like it's gone wild and hurt people's feelings. Throwaway line that was repeated over and over <laughs> and over. I know they just <laughs> repeated it after I threw it out there. See, Colin, quickly to bring you up to speed. Uh, around the office now. Right. Well, it's just for a little fun off the air. Uh, whenever you refer to crap, you, instead of saying the the s word that is is that you uh, you say Nagel, right. which is Iraq's last name. I get so it, you man. go, oh my god, I stepped in some Nagel yesterday and I had to scrape it off my shoe, and he hates it. Of course he does. The Nagels have a long and proud history and <laughs> being destroyed in one month here on the show. <laughs> they arrived from eastern Russia during the first, uh, you know, pogroms of the early 20th century. I love that you said a long and proud <laughs> history. So, Iraq, what happens? That bit just bugs you against you a little bit? Not one of my favorite, no. <laughs> Iraq, you got to fight back. Which one's favorite, mayo? <laughs> little, little fighting back. Yeah. Exactly. All right, uh, this is Scorch continues. Uh, the boys of Simmer. You know what I mean? You want to just make like Oh, others. God! You can't just have the clean... You can't what arbitrarily set up the list and you have these <laughs> filthy cook slooker and then have it fill up with the boys of Simmer. <laughs> boys. Yeah, the Take boys of Simmer? It sounds like boys of summer. Oh. That actually does make sense. Yeah, but if he did those first and then he got to the dirty ones later, he can't just throw him randomly. He's so idiot. Why are you trying to fix this bit? It's I just think of him brainstorming this and <laughs> yeah. thinking, let me think. Oh, look. Simmer. Oh, All right. First, he started with cooking words is yeah. what he started with. Okay, cook, simmer, oh. uh, soup. Uh, that, and then just went through. It's like, okay, yeah, right. simmer, simmer. Summer boys of boys of simmer. I got one. Colin, when, when you were getting like uh, great comedians, uh, great comedians for your right. tough crowd, why 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 not scorch? If I thought, I mean, does he do stand up too? We were only using like guys doing stand up, but I mean, he could do stand up. He could do it all. He probably used to do stand up. <laughs> he could oh, do that's, it all. that's your official he reason can. why you never invited us on the show because we didn't. Do I did stand invite up. you guys on. I believe you did? many times. Yes, you couldn't come because of the no. Uh, couldn't oh, talk. Really? At this yes. time, I thought that you just didn't what want us on the show. What are you guys on all the time? <laughs> Actually, if you didn't, you have Stalker Patty on. Yes. All right. So chums the, instead of friends. That was the show they did a parody. Chums, of chums, oh, chums. Right. Here's uh, more cooking shows. Uh, Simmer loving. Patty was great. Where is Patty? Simmer loving. Uh, Ask me to dance. Simmer loving. <laughs> Patty's not working for Ron and Fez, so. Ow. She's parlayed. Oh my God. Her success into a, a game. <laughs> with Ron I'm Fez. on multiple shows now. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? You want to just make like other sautéed sauces and things like that? The boys of Simmer. Come on. How are you going to beat that? You know, you can't touch it. Uh, here's one, another one. If for a sauté person, how about sauté day night fever? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no, he didn't say that. But if he at least set it up first with like, hey, how about a show with Brooklyn with dancing? But he doesn't. Yeah. All the other ones get a big setup. That one he just goes into. Sauté night fever. Because it's, it's sautéing in the show. Oh, he hey, you always touch my pasta. Gonna sauté. <laughs> Gonna sauté. You happy now? See? Now you're a cannoli. <laughs> this one I feel good. This one I'm cooking down at the restaurant. Sauté night <laughs> What, is, what the hell is that? Saute day night. <laughs> oh, saute day. It isn't even like just hey, saute. But can't it's, you play? It's, it's brilliant in its stupidity. You got to give it, give him that much. But can't you leave that song on and make him do Dice Clay and Scorch yeah. in a scene from Saturday Night Fever? <laughs> that would be a lot of elements there, uh, Colin. Hey, come back over here. <laughs> Stop dancing on the bridge. You're going to hurt yourself. Get over here. Hey, yeah, look, I'm dancing, Tony. Yeah. You didn't call me. You didn't call me, Tony. Hey, look. I'm sorry. I borrowed your car and I said I was going to call you. And I didn't. Anthony's I, I hurt my knee, dude. Anthony's overheating because of you, Colin. Too many elements in the pit. What are you, crazy? He even got conf Anthony never gets confused. He started as, Anthony, as Travolta and went into Dice. And then it was Andrew Dice Kelly at the end. <laughs> Hello, Andrew Dice Kelly. <laughs> Nice All right, well, uh, according to Sam, Scorch brings it home in a big way with his final final part of the bit here. Yeah, uh, he knows how to close it. All right. And the best one of all was one where it, it tells you what the best one of all. I'm not into seeing men, you know, undressing you or anything like that. All right, but Scorch, we going to be a show with some of the best looking men in the world, and it was going to be meant specifically for women, and the show was going to be called, uh, excuse me, Your Fry is Open. See, all these shows, uh -oh. you know, actually, I can't say all of them. Some of them might not make it because of the title. But you know what? Grills Gone Wild? Come on, how can you beat that? A show with scantily clad women barbecuing food? Guys, you have to agree with me. Something like that Do I have would to? definitely be PFG. Oh, yeah. His new show that's is his, called PFG. <laughs> that's what it is. It's Scorch PFG, PFG. which means uh, the P and the J is pretty good. Great. Great. Sorry. I just remembered. <laughs> Pretty great. And you could, you know, just imagine what the. Oh, the yes. Act. Don't go there. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> PFG. Pretty effing glad we're not doing that type of radio. <laughs> well, <Rose, laughs> uh, it would be something funny about your gals in bikinis on that uh, sauteing show. <laughs> Grill's gone wild. We should, like, take some of these uh, ideas and just run with it. You really, you know what you should do? Actually just set up a grill and studio. Real show, yeah. Right. And hey, that was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> what the F? <laughs> he gets a job, though, man. He gets fired every six months, and there's another, <laughs> there's another station waiting for him, man. Right? Yeah, just a couple markets below the... I, I can't even keep track of all the stations he's worked for since we uh, moved on. <laughs> And he got gr one of the greatest firings ever. The PD actually told him he was pizza. Yeah. And the PD was looking for hamburger. <laughs> yeah. That just kills me. It's not that, how I think about it. It's not that, like, pizza isn't good. It's People good. love pizza, Sc but... Scorch sat us down his last day at the station. Oh, guys, uh, just got fired. <laughs> and explained the whole story how Dave Dickless sits him down and goes, uh, I'm, looking, uh, uh, I'm looking for uh, a hamburger around here. And you're... Uh, you're pizza. You're pizza. Pizza's yeah, a good food. Pizza's good. People love pizza. <laughs> But but we're looking for hamburger. Meanwhile, there's like no distinction if you're gonna mention like a food pizza yeah. and hamburger in the same category. Yeah, exactly. It's not Idiot. like yeah, it's a stupid analogy to make. Yeah, but Dave was stupid <laughs> <laughs> on so many levels. We're gonna play a pizza or hamburger today. Pizza or hamburger. <laughs> Call up. Tell me what.